Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Wouldn't it be something if you had a nicknamed Magic Fingers? <laughs> it's hard for me to uh, to say that with a straight face. What's also amazing is Magic Fingers appears to be the perfect amount of letters to fit the actual screen name space. So often I get crystal opening commentaries that aren't online. This is one online so I can see his name up here. He's American apparently. But uh, yeah, normally not so much. But wouldn't it be amazing if you were like, hey, ladies, I just want you to know, my friends call me Magic Fingers because I like to wave at you, right? That's that's why. That's definitely why what that means. Uh, okay, $100 worth of crystals. And this is the same amount that I purchased yesterday, as usual, $50 right when the crystals hit and $50 again. And he's starting out with a six-star Silver Centurion, shout out to my man Captain Bay who did a fantastic breakdown on why he loved Silver Centurion months ago and it convinced me to take him to 565 and I've enjoyed him. I don't really use him that often, but he's a beast in the arena like so many people. Once you have a roster that's as big as mine and you don't do Alliance War, most of the really, really good champs still end up on the bench. I don't remember the last time I actually brought in my rank 3 6 star Doom, which shocks some people and probably horrifies some people too given how much they love Dr. Doom. Okay, so... Starting out with a six star, uh, yeah. Obviously, I think he was going for Black Cat or the sub featured Omega Sentinel, but still exciting. And speaking of Black Cat, next to the six star Black Cat, he was either gonna get the five star or the six star. So a six star new champion and a five star Black Cat. This is starting as I would guess amongst the best crystals, the best hundred dollars he's ever spent. And this is also why you record everything because this is just more exciting. It's fast happening things, by the way. This is more exciting to start now. A four star, another five star. That is a six star and two five stars, including the five star future champion in three. Don't try this at home, kids. You might be thinking, golly, Prof showed these amazing crystals. I'm gonna go buy some and I'm gonna get all three stars. Which, let's be honest, three stars shouldn't even be in these crystals, but that is just the way that it works. And finally, we get a actual three star but this is the feature at three star so if you have to land on a three star at least it's the new feature champion now i always get the feature champion in the arena because i am a loser who grinds his soul away in the arena but hey last one of the front half is gonna be a four star no real chance to get that six star nimrod there was really no drama in the real um okay so the front half six star silver centurion and a five star black cat it would take a lot for the back half to beat that with that said let's check it out and a three-star Star-Lord is the opposite of how you beat the front half worth of luck. This is amongst his best crystals. Start, certainly it started out, if it was just two for two, those six, 600 units would have been maybe the best he's had. But it's slowed down since then. Four more crystals to get back on the RNG train. And there is a five-star Nexus. I opened one of those for the first time and Lord knows how long last night in my batch of 10 as well. So we have remarkably similar crystal luck so far but three more crystals to go and it's going to be a four star no matter what jabari parker slash panther takes the place of that champion in the crystal reel all right two more what's up myself mr negative there's another six star nimrod and this time it is a five star sub featured so we got the five star sub featured the five star featured and two trolls of six star nimrod i don't know why the game wants you to be tortured with six star nimrod but they apparently do all right last one is a five star cork so um in the end i think he sent over two different videos but one is a lot shorter that is amongst the best hundred dollars he spent the five star feature and sub feature and the six star silver centurion and then, uh, really, it's a 50% drop rate of five stars if you count, or excuse me, I guess it's a 40% drop rate of five stars if you count the Nexus, a 50% drop rate of five stars or six stars, which is much better than the average odds are posted, of course. Anything else in this one before we go to the next one? I don't think so. I think he's probably just scrolling. Took that screenshot, though. Okay, and then he's got a 46-second video. What do we have here? Did he, he go for another $100? This is half of what our man Legacy went for when his $400 opening. 
Magic fingers. Do you have the magic fingers? He's got one new. Oh, six star Omega Sentinel in the house. So no six star black cat, but a six star Omega Sentinel, a five star Omega Sentinel, and a five star black cat, which I'm sure given the arena scores of Omega Sentinel and probably soon to be uh, black cat, that is a lot of luck for relatively speaking a small amount of units though two hundred dollars worth of units is still six thousand units so uh magic fingers there you have it was his two hundred dollars worth it i mean look two hundred dollars is a crazy amount of money even with inflation it's a crazy amount of money uh so if you think the answer is no i'm not going to blame you but this is way better than so many uh 20 crystal openings that we have featured on this channel in the past years so magic fingers congratulations thank you for the submission have a great rest of your day, YouTube. It's, as always, an honor to commentate your crystal openings.